It's been a little while, and I hope I didn't just give away what I was going to show you guys, but um, obviously <laughs> I haven't made an update for like a month. Um, last you guys heard I was bidding on a Skyline that I was supposed to win, um, but I didn't, and I kind of got uh, cold feet with the whole situation because I was just getting super pissed off. Um, my plans changed a little bit. The more I thought about it, the more I felt that I didn't really want a super old Skyline, as cool as it would be to have. Um, I think I have a couple updates for you guys. Shit. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I have two new vehicles. <laughs> Because the Jeep I had was a piece of shit, so I had to get rid of that because I, I just couldn't daily it. It was too dangerous to do, so I'll show you guys what I got first. So that's, it was my daily. I'm probably going to daily the new car I just bought and just keep this because I'm going to build the car I bought. I'll, I'll get to that in a second, but so yeah, I got this for $3,800, um, 97, third gen, forerunner. Um, it's got some nice mud terrains on there, no lift, but the tires lifted a little bit, but it's really nice. It's limited leather interior, four wheel drive, yada, yada, runs really good. So I'll move it back to my face. So I was, uh, contemplating if I should still get a Skyline or not, keep trying to bid and that whole process. And then I was going back to like an Evo 8 because I really missed my Evo 8 um, and I didn't have the money to build it at the time when I had it so I didn't see any point in keeping it because I was just angry that I couldn't afford to mod it so I got rid of that. Um, and then I, I started entertaining the idea of an STI because I had an, uh, an 04, the blob eye and it was fully built. It's it's actually a, a couple of years, like a year or two ago, maybe more, on my channel. It's one of my first two or three videos. It's on there, but it had an FP Red built block. So it was pretty fun, but it was, it was kind of um, rough on the exterior and interior. And it just, uh, I don't know, I didn't want to put any more money into it. I would have just had to redo the body and the just like redone, bought the whole new interior seats and all that, and I didn't want to do that, so I sold that, obviously. So I went to a dealer, and uh, I found an STI, um, but obviously most people should be skeptical of STIs because when you try and put any power into them, they start spinning the rod bearings, and uh, the motor can't really handle much without being built. <clears throat> but the uh, STI transmissions are awesome. Um, so, boom. Might as well just show you guys. I got a 2010 uh, WRX STI hatch, obviously. And what really made the deal sweet for me is that um, the warranty company that my stepdad does business with agreed to uh, an 18 month unlimited powertrain uh, and drivetrain warranty for this. So it's pretty much when the motor decides to go. <laughs> I don't think it's an if. <clears throat> We're just gonna build it. I mean, I'm gonna if it if it lasts me until next uh, like February, which I mean it really should. I don't. I'm not that hard on my cars, but you never know with Subarus. Um, either way, it's gonna get built uh, February, Marchish, and I'm I'm gonna be aiming for uh, at least 500 wheel horsepower and a good chunk of torque. So, yep. No skyline, sorry, but as with everything, shit changes, so this should definitely be a fun build. A lot of people are into Subarus. I really kind of was t started to get turned off to them just because everyone started buying one, but the more I thought about it, the more I just realized that that really shouldn't be 
um, something that steers you away from a car. If you like a car, get it. It doesn't matter if uh, a lot of people have it. A lot of people have it because they're good cars and fun cars. So um, I stopped letting that deter me and I uh, got the hatch. I've always wanted one. I haven't really ever been able to afford one this new. So now that I can, uh, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. So this will be a really fun project. Um, sorry I was MIA for a little while. I was kind of got super depressed when I lost out on that Skyline because I really thought I had it for certain, but that's okay. Super happy with this. Um, I'll start talking about plans. I'll, I'll show you guys around first. I, I never show you guys good walk arounds whenever I introduce a new car. So it's it's really clean. It's a really clean car. Exterior and exterior, damn near flawless. Um, as you can see, try to cut some of that glare out for you. But yeah, it, it literally looks like there's nowhere anywhere. <laughs> It's awesome. Uh huh. Uh, I came with these, uh, oh, I know the road is, I think these are the G forces, yeah. So these are the road to G forces, 18 by 9. I want to say plus 30 because it's sticking out past the fender wheel a little bit, which I don't like because now I can't really put that fat of a tire on there, but I'm still going to. I'll just have to add a little bit of camber and, uh, Roll the roll and pull the fenders professionally this time, <laughs> and it, uh, but it has a 255 tire on there, so I can't really complain. Way better than the stretch bullshit people try and put on these. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's uh, it was a California car, unfortunately. So it's been probably been ran on 91 piss water most of its life, but it's running fine now. I get 92 up here, so. Um, the only shitty part is I have a downpipe, but it's catted, which is fucking dumb. Because now I'm going to have to pull it out and put a catless one in there that should have been in there in the first place. But California, if you haven't been to California, don't go there if you're a car enthusiast. <laughs> I mean, it's the car scene is really good because people don't give a shit and they find ways around it. But it's such a pain in the ass to mod your car there with the, with the uh, smog laws and DEQ laws. But one shitty part about this vehicle, this STI, is that, look, tell me where the exhaust disconnects, where the bolts are. Yeah, there isn't any. They fucking welded all of it. I don't know why the fuck they would do that. So essentially, if I want to replace anything, I'll have to re-weld some shit back on or just replace the whole exhaust system. No idea why the fucking previous owner did that. But that'll be a pain in the ass. But other than that, it's stock. It's got that catted downpipe, uh, parent, and a tune. Um, uh, it's pretty damn quick. I knew it would be. These cars aren't very fast, but they are really quick, if that makes sense. Um, I assume you know that if you're watching this video. <clears throat> so yeah, we'll uh, get some shit going. Uh, the, t the dealership I bought it from actually I put, I think one of the bulbs, the low beam bulbs burnt out so they put a, a different non-stock bulb, uh, HID bulb back in there so one is like 6000 Kelvin blue and one is like the 4300 Kelvin uh, OEM look so the first thing I'm doing is uh, getting a new pair of a uh, 4300K OEM like crystal white to replace the bullshit they put in there. That'll be the first mod. And then uh, I'll start thinking about some other stuff we can do. Oil's pretty fresh, so I'm not gonna change that yet. But, so this is what we're gonna be working with. Um, sorry, I keep saying, um, <clears throat> it'll be fun. I'll post updates and I got my, I put my mount can you see that? Fuck, you can see my ugly face. Oh, you can kind of see it. I put my mount in there, so definitely gonna be making some uh, action videos. Finally, I'll make one, let's see, what's tomorrow? Monday I got work. So yeah, I'll make one tomorrow. I'll do like a, a couple pulls on my way to work and put that in there. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. I had, <laughs> I had the channel in the back of my mind the whole time I was uh, 
lagging on making a video. I was like, I can't just be one of those dudes that just drops off the fucking face of the earth <laughs> randomly. I hate that. So I'm not going anywhere. Just took me a little while to find my path. So this is what we're working with. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for uh, sticking with me.